All right, guys, starting off here first with the 1952. Now, we are going to get into the 1990s and uh, the 2000s here as we go, but this is a 1952 90% silver Washington quarter. It is the D mint mark, so you'll see the D mint mark at the bottom of the coin on the reverse. Now, this coin has been broad struck, so it does have a nice error, uh, mint error going for it. Uh, you can see that around the rim of the coin, of course. However, the coin has been cleaned, so do not clean your coins, guys. It will take away from the value of your coin tremendously. This coin could have sold for a lot more money, but it is authenticated by NGC as a mint error, and it did sell for around $125, even after being cleaned. So you can imagine that it would have sold for a lot more money had it not been cleaned. Now here's a 1971 D mint mark. Pretty obvious mint error here. We have a large die break, also referred to as a cud, here on the obverse of the coin, uh, going through the word liberty there and the back of Washington's head. Uh, this is the 1971 D mint mark that sold for over $310 at auction. Uh, graded by PCGS at an AU58. So you can look for cuds that are smaller than this, larger than this on all kinds of different coins, not just this date. Now here's a 1973 D mint mark Washington quarter that sold this year in 2022. And the coin has been double struck. Uh, so very nice mint error coin there. Very obvious mint error, of course. Graded by Annex at an AU58 and an older Annex holder. And this coin sold for around $660 at auction. Here's a 1973 Washington quarter. Looks very normal here on the reverse of the coin, like any old, you know, Washington quarter would look. But here on the obverse of the coin, we are missing the outer clay layer. So you see the inner copper layer of the quarter here, as opposed to the outer clay layer that it does not have. So that will give the coin value. This coin graded at a mint state 64 ended up selling for over $380. Now here is a 1976 D mint mark. This is the bicentennial Washington quarter that is graded by PCGS at a mint state 63. This coin was struck 12% off center and this coin ended up selling for around $170 at auction. Moving right along to a 1979 Washington quarter that, you know, I could definitely see something like this being passed up. Uh, you kind of see how the planchet is not correct. You'll see the design of the Washington quarter uh, being cut off there. And that is because it's a Washington quarter design that was struck onto a nickel planchet, a five cent planchet. Uh, graded by NGC, this coin ended up selling for around $600 at auction. Now here is a 1981. This is a very nice mint error here. This is a 1981 Washington quarter design that was overstruck onto a 1981 Jefferson nickel. So you can actually see parts of the design of the Jefferson nickel along with the Washington quarter. Very nice double denomination here, graded by NGC at a mint state 67. This coin sold for over $2,500. $2,500. Dollars. Man, you can't beat that. Now here is a 1993 D mint mark Washington quarter graded by Annex at a mint state 64. This coin sold for over $575 because the coin has been double struck and both of those strikes are off center. Uh, so pretty nice mint error here, uh, over $575. Here's a 1997 Washington quarter, the D mint mark that was struck off center. Uh, pretty nice mint error here, graded by Annex at a mint state 62. This coin sold for a little over $100 at auction. And now we're getting into the state quarters from 1999, graded by PCGS at a mint state 62. This coin is the Delaware state quarter that was struck off center and this quarter ended up selling for a little over $60 at auction. Here's another off center that was taking place on a state quarter, a New Hampshire state quarter from the year 2000. Uh, struck 80% off center though, and it does have an indent as well. This coin ended up selling for over $90 at auction. Here's a 2006 state quarter graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 that was struck 30% off center on two and end of a strip clip. Uh, so pretty cool there. 
this coin ended up selling for over one thousand dollars so around the twelve hundred dollar coin there to be exact a uh, nice mint error there. Now this coin is crazy. I had to add this one into the video. This is a no dated Washington quarter that has been double struck, second strike off center with an indent and a brockage. So much going on with this coin here, graded by NGC. I don't know how this ever leaves the mint. Uh, let me know in the comments below. This coin ended up selling for around $720. So feel free to check out my other quarter videos where I show you other rare quarters that are worth money. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.